Thanks for joining us. Coming up on NTD Business. The Biden administration is proposing the toughest car emission rules ever. A very aggressive push toward mass vehicle electrification. What's it going to do to car prices? The Biden administration is coming out with the toughest car emission rules of all time. Details are scarce, but EPA Administrator Michael Regan says they will eliminate over 10 billion tons of CO2 in the coming decades. This could mean two-thirds of cars sold in 2032 would be electric vehicles. What are the implications? This is very ambitious. To give you some context, Biden originally wanted half of all cars to be electric by 2030. Industry experts consider that goal itself to be a stretch. During EPA Administrator Michael Regan's press conference today, a Reuters reporter asked if this rule would end the internal combustion engine. Regan replied that it's not the goal. This creates a conversation for uh, hydrogen fuel cells, uh, electric vehicles. Uh, We can look at uh, different variations of new fuel sources that we might have moving forward. Uh, I think we're giving the automobile industry options to choose from. And so when we look at uh, this proposal, Uh, and the opportunities to reach the very ambitious goals that we've set. Uh, We're not prescribing any mandates, uh, and we're not driving any particular technology out of business, so to speak. Another reporter from Fox Business brought up China. He said that China makes most of the electric vehicle batteries in the world. So wouldn't we be more dependent on China if we push so aggressively toward electrification? Regan said the ultimate goal is to be less dependent. This proposal doesn't kick in till model year uh, 2027. So we've got some years to ramp up. We hope that we can take advantage of of that runway uh, and and follow the investments of historic legislation to bring manufacturing, especially battery manufacturing, back here domestically. It's our goal that we don't overly rely on any countries. Uh, It's our goal that we are more competitive and don't rely uh, solely on China for batteries. Of course, not everyone believes this will work out. We talked to automotive expert Lauren Fix of Car Coach Reports. She's been working in the auto industry for over 40 years. She was the former president of the North American Car and Truck of the Year Awards and a member of the World Car Awards jury. All the rare earth minerals for the batteries, 80% of the mines are owned by China, so we will be beholden to China. But in addition to that, they're also digging up the earth which means this is going to cause damage. If you look at cobalt, cadmium, mercury, lithium, all those are mined in South Africa, China, uh, the Ukraine, and a lot of these countries that it's just poisoning the environment. It's not just their environment, it's everyone's environment. Fix says the strict new rules are an overreach by climate activists who aren't looking at reality. She also says many people won't be able to afford electric vehicles, which are generally more expensive than internal combustion engine vehicles. $66,000 $66,000 is the average price for an electric vehicle. So don't forget, you're also going to have to pay for insurance. Yes, you could get a $7,500 tax credit, but part of the new uh, or the Inflation Reduction Act, that changes everything. What that does is some vehicles are eligible, some are not. These new rules have not been implemented yet, so we don't know exactly how they'll impact car prices. But they are likely to raise car prices across the board because car makers will have to invest tremendously to convert to electrification. We talked to the managing editor of the Detroit Bureau, Michael Strong. He's been covering auto news for 30 years. Strong says the new rules will undoubtedly raise prices. We're a long way from significant price increases related to this, but I think it will be here before anybody wants it to be. Now, how much? That's tough to say because you just don't know what the pricing for battery materials are going to be and other factors that, you know, you know, the steel that goes in the cars and that sort of thing. We reached out to the EPA. We asked them for their thoughts about the impacts on prices, and we asked for more details on the new rules. We'll keep you updated.